Hey guys, it's Woody the Unexceptional Gamer, bringing you a game of Domination Ground War with a Silent Spectre. So I've been using the SMGs a lot more lately, uh, partly because of uh, the FAMAS. Let me talk about the FAMAS a little bit. I've been getting heat from all over the world, it seems, about using the FAMAS. Uh, what happened was when the game first came out, the uh, everyone fussed about the AK-74U and the G-11. And I was like, alright, so clearly those weapons are off limits for the YouTube commentating scene. You know, I'll find something else that I like. And I like the FAMAS, and no one really had a problem with it. Nobody was talking about the FAMAS. It was all AK-74U being overpowered. Oh my god, the G-11's hipfire is, uh, is that of an SMG. Those were the problems people were talking about when the game first came out. So I used the FAMAS because no one had a problem with it. Uh, now I have this whole library of, of FAMAS gameplay built up, and, uh, and people are fussing about it. So if you've noticed lately, almost all my games have been with SMGs. I've been using the MPL, I've been using the Spectre. But, uh, but you know, people still talk smack about me on their live streams and stuff. But yeah. what are you going to do? Um, I, I switched up my weapons a bit, so, uh, so you guys, you know... I think it's important that uh, you see the sorts of gameplays that you like seeing, and, and that's what I'm doing here. Uh, ground War's been pretty cool. I, I don't really play a lot of Ground War. I usually, I, I play mostly 6v6 games, and I'm finding that in Ground War, it's a lot easier to get gameplays. Um, the, the key difference for me is this. When I play 6v6, I almost always find myself struggling to find uh, enough enemies, enough bad guys. Uh, when I play Ground War, uh, usually I can get the engagements that I want. So you know, here I'm using an SMG, an SMG, the way I play an SMG is a little bit like the way that I would play a shotgun in that, you know, I want all my my uh, confrontations to be like in the same room, you know, I, ideally within bad breath range. If I'm shooting across the map with an SMG, then I'm probably at a disadvantage, especially a silenced SMG. I'm going to need five bullets and some guy, you know, with a sniper only going to need one or with a FAMAS is only going to need, I think, three, I think. So, uh maybe even four, but but definitely at a disadvantage because those things are easier to aim, right? This this right here is typically not the uh, the fight I'm looking for, but unlike a shotgun, at least I'm not totally unarmed at a distance with an SMG. So, you know, if I do find a guy and maybe catch him looking sideways or something, I can still maybe get a kill here and there. But uh, I navigate the map with an SMG the same way that I do with a shotgun, which is to say, you know, you know try and keep it close battles. And in ground war, I find that um, that I can usually get those engagements that I really prefer to have. Whereas, you know, if this were 6v6, I don't think I'd be seeing enough traffic. I'd have to be running around. I'd go across the open areas like like the baby buffalo, and uh, and it gets me deaths here and there. Also, with ground war. Uh, the effect that my teammates have on my gameplay is somewhat diluted, and I really like that a lot. You know, it, it, when it's 6v6 and it's so hard to find these enemies, and I'm playing with a bunch of good friends, then um, I should say talented friends, you know, it's not about how close I am to them, it's about how good they are at getting kills. Uh, you know, when I play with guys like that, there's just not enough people to kill. It seems like everybody I find is in their, their death animation. While in Ground War, there's enough targets for everybody, and that's kind of cool. So you might see a little more Ground War from me, because, you know, it's freaking easy mode. So, uh, so I, I like that a lot. Um... Uh, oh, so I, I spend the first part of this game uh, mostly defending Bravo. It, it's, uh... I always play for the win, and you know, in my opinion, the the way to uh, to get that done here is to guard the the hottest spot in the map. So, so that's what I do on a map like Stockpile. I'll, I'll spend time in a building like this, um, you know, guarding what I think is the most prime real estate on this map, which you know is the B flag. And uh, it, it, sometimes it can be hard to stay alive, but with this silencer, I'm finding it <laughs> easy to stay alive as I finally take my death. I drop shot it, and somehow when I went prone, I couldn't spin. Now watch this nonsense. There's two pieces of nonsense in this game that, that really make me crazy. I finally call in my chopper gunner, and I'm going to speed it up a bit, but I cannot drive this thing. So I, I hop in the chopper gunner, and things are going cool, and then... What? What is this? Where, where are you going? So yeah, how you doing? I'm pissed off. I'm pissed off. This is not where this is like a, a, a freaking the helicopter tours. That it, it didn't go anywhere where I told it to go. It, it, there's a bug. It actually happened to me two games in a row. Every 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 or maybe three games in a row. All my eleven kill streaks were were not controllable, and and they just flew around to the edges of the map and kind of bounced like a poorly driven bumper car and a bunch of crap. So. Yeah, and then the guy with the <laughs> silence ghost in the corner, I didn't see him on the UAV. But um, uh, here comes my other chopper. Let's see how this goes. 
this chopper comes in and unlike the first one you don't steer this on your own uh, you know it, it just you know does tours around the map like it's supposed to and you can shoot to the side and it's cool so i actually get a, a couple of kills with this thing and it makes me wonder just how nicely the 11 would have gone you know because with the 11 you can sit there and place it right over right over the spawn and it's awesome so uh, i look at the score and i think man if you added like 10 kills to it with that other chopper gunner it would have been pretty nice and then you know well let's just keep watching so while I was in my choppers, it looks like they uh, they took the Bravo flag from us, and I think they might even triple cap us at, at one point in this game. And uh, I don't know, it, it seemed to be, things are going so well, all my friends and I are getting great kills, but uh, the game is actually, yeah, I don't want to say it's close, we're up by 30 points, but uh, you know, closer than you'd expect it to be, given that, uh, that things are going fairly well. So here's a little tip, you guys probably know this by now, I mean it's June. But uh, when I take a flag, I like to throw stuns and nades in the directions that the enemy could be coming from. Even if you don't see the enemy, it just kind of closes the door. You know, imagine them rushing towards Bravo, and they either get stunned and they're slowed, and they know that you know that stunned is usually a precursor to death. Ah, connection interrupted. Nonsense. But it comes back. Now my, my target is gone. I don't know where the hell he went, but this is just what my connection is like. Uh, so, you know, they see stuns in there, and, and, and everyone knows when they're stunned. It, it just seems like you're about to die, and um, uh, so, so you have that going on. Or uh, there's a nade, and they see that grenade indicator on their screen, and, you know, that's just instinctively you start running backwards. So, so that's what I do. I like to close the door uh, when I take these flags and just throw my stuns and nades. Uh, this gun has rapid fire on it. When I run rapid fire, I really need sleight of hand, and I need scavenger. Uh, I'll run out of bullets in a heartbeat with, without scavenger on a rapid fire gun because I, I empty almost an entire clip every time I shoot. And on that same note, uh, emptying an entire clip every time I shoot, uh, I really need scavenger. So, uh, oh, oh, I really need sleight of hand. That's what I meant to say. Um, because, you know, I, I sit there and reload between almost every kills. I mean, sometimes I get two kills to a clip. I hardly ever get three. Uh, I would be pretty fortunate to get a triple kill on, a, on an SMG single clip with rapid fire on it. So, uh, let's see there. I just, I think I got two kills on that clip. But, um... Uh, so sleight of hand makes it so I can reload between enemies without uh, without getting crushed too bad. So uh, another quick kill here, I think. I'll retreat a little bit, but um, things are going well. I think I'm five kills into my next kill streak. I've got a nine and eleven. These guys are all chumps. There's plenty of time left in the game. Uh, I got what like a 10, 15 KD, yeah, fifteen KD, and. Um, connection bails out. This has been happening to me a lot lately. I can't finish a game of zombies. I can, you know, it seems like every hour I have to reboot my router. I need to get this worked out because, um, uh, yeah, this is happening to me all the time. Worst connection on YouTube. I'm convinced of it. So uh, uh, anyway, that was the game. Some really bad luck. Choppers don't work. Connection dies. Uh, I hope you hope your day's going better. Okay, and the last thing is to talk about recent videos. So um, two things going on uh, recently. Uh, one is uh, who's the best on YouTube. What we're going to do is have a free-for-all challenge where we take some of the top YouTubers and probably me also and uh, have them play against each other. I don't know, maybe four or five, six uh, free-for-all games and uh, look at their placings. And there's some real prize money on the line here. So it should be a super cool thing. Um, we're, we're trying to get all the, the top guys in there. Um, I'm reaching out to Sandy Ravage, but Ronald Dino, the Game 360 guys who post amazing scores are already in it. I think Extra expressed an interest in being in it um team art will be in it uh, i will also be in it although i don't you know i don't pretend to be one of the best guys on youtube um so a lot of really really cool guys i think i'd like to reach out to c Niner, see if he has an interest in playing with us and uh xcal put up a video he didn't really uh, explain it but it, it looked like he wasn't interested in being measured against the other top guys and, and that's fine i hope he has a nice day but uh uh, there we have it. So uh, so who's the best on YouTube? That's the thing that's coming up. I will definitely announce the dates, and we will definitely do it in a time zone that is friendly for everyone. Uh, tentatively, you know, we haven't talked to everybody yet. We're looking at the 18th on 10 a.m., so uh, I'll let you know as that solidifies. But 10 a.m. Uh, Eastern time, so that will be, you know, in the afternoon for Europe. It'll be in the morning-ish for America, but uh, certainly in time for everybody to watch it, and that should be a really cool thing. The other video, uh, the 100% accurate one, there's been a lot of leaks on Modern Warfare 3 lately, and some of them are reliable and some of them are not so reliable. So I put together this sort of compilation of the data that uh, that's really more trustworthy. It either comes from Infinity Ward itself or it comes from, you know, what, what are the best leaks out there, things that had screenshots backing it up and visual evidence. So uh, check out those two videos, and I hope you have a nice day.